Hi everyone, this is me, Alabel. Welcome back to my channel. And for this video, just showing you some house plants that I need to repot. When we say house plant, it is sometimes known as a pot plant, potted plant, or an indoor plant. It is an ornamental plant that is grown indoors. As such, they can be found in places like residences and offices, mainly for decorative purposes. Common house plants are usually tropical or semi-tropical plants. The history of house plants is intertwined with the history of container gardening in general. Ancient Egyptians and Sumerians grew ornamental and fruiting plants in decorative containers. Ancient Greeks and the Romans cultivated laurel trees in earthenware vessels. In ancient China, potted plants were shown at garden exhibitions over 2,500 years ago. Here I am guys doing this mess around and this is kind of therapeutic as the acts of nurturing plants and connecting with the nature can bring solace and healing to our hearts and minds. Repotting means to put a plant into another pot. And if you want to give more root space to a growing plant, repot it with more soil in a slightly larger container. Shout out to all cat lovers out there. I have a piper here with me and a person who loves cat has the greatest heart surround. Going back to my repotting work here. The purpose of repotting is to move a growing plant from one pot to a larger one to allow for further growth of the plant. House plants are typically grown in specialized soilless mixtures. After a few hours, here I am, I'm done with most of the plants and is already transferred into a good pot. For those who are watching this video and for those who are doing also some repotting activity with your plants, we have to remember that house plants have care requirements that differ from plants grown outdoors. Moisture, light, soil mixture, temperature, ventilation, humidity, fertilizers, and potting are all important factors. Each plant species has different care requirements and care requirements can vary based on the specific pot's location in a particular home and potting mixed used. Looking back at the history, the plant breeding developed in the late 17th and 18th centuries. And these innovations were drawn and represented in the botanical gardens and private court collections. In the 19th century, the Victorian era saw the first use of houseplants by the middle class, which were perceived as a symbol of social status and moral value. During World War II, houseplants became more common in offices, which began to more closely resemble the domestic environment as more women entered the workforce. In the 1980s, houseplants were often limited to large, lush statement pieces, particularly in bathrooms. The 1990s also brought a wave of interest in artificial plants. Now, we are in the 21st century or beginning in the mid to late 2010s. Fashionable plants from earlier decades were revitalized and popularized by social media, especially Instagram and here I am at my YouTube channel. More than that, the interest in houseplants exploded during the COVID-19 pandemic that began in early 2020 and with the people forced to spend more time indoors, many sought to fill their homes with houseplants. Just like me, I learned to value and love the importance of houseplants. Overall, Indoor plants are a great addition to your home if you're looking for a way to bring the outdoors indoors. Not only 
they are pretty but they have a whole host of health benefits the bottom line is sharing your living or working space with the living or breathing plant life can make your environment a happier healthier place to be wherever life plants you bloom with grace and a beautiful plant is like having a friend around the house thank you for watching everyone don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for Ella Bell.